Hello, welcome to a Netflix series review. La Mont, the Mantis. Um, it's a French series, and um, if you don't mind subtitle, then you might want to give this show a, a, a shot. I enjoy it immensely. Uh, I'm a huge fan of crime thriller. So this is right in my wheelhouse and one thing that I learn and avoid is knowing how many episodes there are because it's in most crime thriller, right? If I know that there is X amount of episodes, then you know, whatever misdirection or red herring that the show tried to lead me uh, through, I kind of ignore it because I'm just like, no, it can't be this person because we're only in the second episode and it's eight more to go. Um, so the best approach that I find is to keep it fun uh, and interesting and keep me guessing is not knowing. Okay, I kind of have an idea of, you know, Netflix shows tend to be in the 8, 9, 10, 12, 13 episode kind of thing, but at the same time, I don't want to know. Uh, as with most foreign TV shows, I am not familiar at all with many of the actors. Um, the lead actress, the one that played the serial killer, I have seen her before. I've seen enough French movie to have seen her in some of them. So. Her face looked familiar, um, but as far as the rest of the cast, not at all. Uh, there is nothing to complain about the acting, nothing, okay? A solid acting job all around. Um, this, this story is about, you know, a copycat serial killer um, and the police is trying to solve it, bringing back, by going back to the original serial killer and trying to enlist her for her help, um, and her son is also the lead is one of the lead detective. Um, so fascinating story, and um, you know, as always, the first few misdirection that the show throw at you at me, I. I, I, I can see it coming I, you know, in my mind as I'm watching the show I'm just like it's not this person it can't be it's too easy right but I must say it has been a long long time since I watched a, a crime thriller like this where once the true serial killer identity was revealed I had chill okay I have a, a physical reaction as I watch that episode where I'm just like oh that's the kind of reaction I think I most of us that enjoy this kind of TV show want to feel because that's why they call crime thriller okay it's it gave me chill up my spine my hair was standing back off oh, it, it <laughs> it's it got me it's one of those few shows where you know I felt that for whatever reason I could not and did not guess who done it until the very end when they reveal it and it was just like OMG kind of moment and I like it. I mean it was a decent show but you know once the, the real killer ID was revealed it, it become a, a really good show so um, I definitely recommend this show. Uh, I like it enough that I want to see some of the episodes again just to see if I miss some of the clue that was given and somehow I didn't see it coming. So before I go, if you have not seen Lamont and a fan of crime thriller and don't mind uh, subtitle, this show is for you on Netflix. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.